Yes, folks, uh, very major. We are, the world right now is witnessing what I call Hurricane Gedan. Yes, it's Hurricane Gedan upon the earth. We just saw um, Harvey Gedan in Houston, in Texas. Um, major damage. And right now, the Hurricane Gedan is still on. There are three hurricanes for the first time in seven years. In the Atlantic, we have the monster Hurricane Irma, uh, you know, causing um, such carnage and horrific scenes. It's indescribable. You have Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Jose, and Hurricane Katia right now in the Atlantic, first time in the seven in seven years, and um, Irma Gedan is. Is, is just liberating everything in its pathway. This monster hurricane, the strongest hurricane in the Atlantic in, in, in many years, um, just devastated the Northeast Caribbean islands, Barbuda, St. Martin, St. Bartholomew, um, um, Puerto Rico, uh, um, different Caribbean islands, Anguilla, um, been greatly affected. Um, Barbuda is practically unin uninhabitable. 95% of buildings destroyed in Barbuda, in St. Martin, all these places, flattening of buildings. Armageddon is just is just out of this world. They, they said in Puerto Rico there is nothing like this. When it hit Puerto Rico, one million um, households, uh, one million also plunge into darkness 50,000 without water um, it, it is just devastating it's unprecedented it, it is cataclysmic it is catastrophic it is out of this world and Armageddon still a category 5 hurricane and, and, and just causing you know, major trouble worldwide major trouble in the Atlantic I should say and, and it's, it's, it's right now Bahamas, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Turks and Caicos, Florida, USA and different states in the USA are bracing for this, this monster. This hurricane was, is so strong that it registered as an earthquake the seismometer, that, that, uh, the device that measures earthquake, seismometer picks up the earth, register Hurricane Irma as an earthquake and now this hurricane is called a nuclear hurricane um, in uh, there's mass evacuation right now in Florida and, and it, it, it's just keep getting worse you know just like how God revealed that Hurricane Harvey or Harvey Geddon was just a precursor and we are seeing this coming into play as this hurricane Irma, this monster um, hurricane, is is a, is causing havoc and, and, and you know utter obliteration. Um, right now in Florida, this hurricane is in uh, right in the path of this hurricane are nuclear plants. Much is not said in the media about it, but this is very serious nuclear plants. We saw in Harvey where that chemical um, explosion so many people had to be evacuated for miles and now this is not just a chemical plant these are at least two nuclear plants in the path of hurricane Irma now this can be even more devastating because of Irma we're not hearing much about Harvey but the recovery and the devastation of Harvey and the effects of Harvey is still going on it's just not in the media but it's happening in real life now monster hurricane Irma on its way Bahamas and USA mainland um, gas station run dry the people who are fleeing there is no gas they are running out of gas and they, they are fleeing from this monstrous hurricane they said that every major city in Florida will be affected uh, UN said 49 million will be affected by this hurricane. The death toll in the Caribbean is rising, flooding, um, St. Martin on the water, Barbuda, um, St. Kitts and Nevis in darkness, Barbuda, total communication cut off. The, you know, it, it is just 
uh, is Armageddon and Hurricane Geddon that is that is on right now. What is the, the solution? What you know, you know, God revealed all of these major events before, and if God revealed it before, He had got not if God revealed it before, and He has the answer for man's dilemma. In Psalm 50, verse 15, He said, Call upon me in the day of trouble. What I want to encourage those who are in the pathway, and even those who have, have been affected. God said, call upon me. This is what Jesus Christ said. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Listen, the solution, even though we, we thank God for what the, the, the news media is doing, the meteorologist is doing and all the different aids and the support. Let me tell you, the main thing is to call upon God. The main thing is to look to God in the day of trouble. God can turn the storm. God can change the direction of Erman, Ose, and Katia. Because Katia formed in the Gulf of Mexico, right in the same area of Texas. We're not saying this, but it's a major threat right now. And with these developments, but you can call on God and He will deliver. And God said, You shall glorify me. It happened so many times um, in the time of Jonah, so many different times in the Bible as God's people call upon him and he deliver. God can deliver you from Irma, from Jose, from Katia. I want you to stay, in, stay tuned for these major developments. God revealed these major events that is happening on the earth. The voice of God, God spoke before. And you just want to stay in tune, stay in tune to this channel as we continue to give you updates and leading, the leading of the Lord and direction from God. But what God is saying, call upon me. The Bible said the Lord is a refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. David said, I will look to the hills. He said, from whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. Listen, this moment is a moment to turn your eyes to Jesus. To turn your eyes to the Lord. We have never seen anything like this. It's hurricane Gedan. Never seen a hurricane like this. A monster like this. They, they, they won't say it like this in the media. But we are telling you, you have never seen anything like this. It's time to look to God. When you see the extremity of this. It's time to look to God. God is saying, man, it's time to call upon me. Stay tuned and we'll continue to give you updates. God bless you.